Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Stephen King review. We're doing this one a little bit differently only because my internet's acting up the way it is, so I'm going to split up the four novellas in If It Bleeds. This is just, <laughs> it's just a dust jacket because my copy is inside because I'm still reading it. I'm currently halfway through If It Bleeds. Not yet, the, the title story. I guess the collection too. Whatever. So we're going to start with my review of Mr. Harrigan's phone. I loved this story. Uh, I couldn't find any fault in it whatsoever. If I were going to criticize it, because people are bound to mention it, this this story felt a lot like uh, Hearts in Atlantis with a nod to... Give me a second. I can never remember the name of this short story, although I like it. I think it's Harold something. Uh, Harvey's Dream, that's it. Harvey's Dream. Uh, so it's a mishmash. It's a mishmash of... Harvey's Dream, I almost forgot the name of the story again just that quick. It's a mishmash of Harvey's Dream and Hearts in Atlantis. It's about a boy who goes to uh, read for the rich dude in town, um, and they end up forming maybe not a friendship, but a close relationship, and then supernatural spooky stuff happens. Um, I, I loved this story as, as much as I loved all the stuff in Hearts in Atlantis. There's, there's a certain passion that Stephen King has, um, a talent for writing about kids and old people talking back and forth. At least I feel that that is true. Uh, with this one, one of the things that really, really struck me, and I spoke to my, my buddy Scott Kemper about this, um, he, he brought up the uh, how racist McTeague and uh, I can't remember the other books that they were, that the boy reads to Mr. Harrigan, but there were there was a lot of subtext there you got a lot of character building based solely on what these what what this boy was reading to this man and all of the books from what i haven't read them um but i did but i do know the history behind the authors that wrote the books what i didn't know about the books and thank you scott for pointing this out is that the books were about corruption and greed and that, that tells you a lot about Mr. Harrigan, without telling you anything, at, without telling you anything on the page, really, is just saying these are the books that he enjoys. This is probably how he is. And as the story goes on, you learn more and more about this guy. And King paints this character so that you maybe sympathize. Well, no, you definitely sympathize with the boy. You don't sympathize with, with Mr. Harrigan's attitude and the things that happen in the book are rather vile, um, but they have their purpose, and they are, some would even say, deserved. But this one, I, I, I love it. I, I, this, this story is everything that I want from Stephen King. The character development, the supernatural aspect, the, it even has a bit of Gwendy's button box in it, but this one, th this story is much better than Gwendy's button box, and leagues better than Gwendy's Magic Feather. You guys know I just like that one anyways. Well, if you're a fan of the channel. If you're new here, hi! Um, but with Mr. Harrigan's phone, I, I was left with this feeling like, this is the man that I respect. This is the hero that I have come to love. This is the guy that I missed for so long after his accident. This, the, the story, I've, I'm trying not to talk about any of the other stories in there, and I'm trying to keep this one short. Uh, because I plan on super cutting all these together once my internet is better. Uh, bear with me. Bear with me. I know we're all struggling right now. I'm not looking for sympathies. I'm just saying, just bear with me. Um, but this this story, man, if... And it, here's, here's my final thought on the book. I want to bring this up because I get a lot of flack for mentioning the cost of books. Um, like, uh, in my review of Yukio Mishima's Star, it's a $12, $13, $14 dollar book, but... It's only a short story uh, in length. I honestly feel like if Mr. Harrigan's phone was released by itself, like Elevation was, and they charged 20 bucks for that, that story, I would be more than happy with the money spent. So it's not always about the length. Um, giggity. Um, it's not always about the, the length of the story. It's about the content. And if I don't feel like content is worth my time and my money, I'm going to say something. Sometimes that's the only time 
That's the only thing I have to say. But uh, have you read Mr. Harrigan's phone? If you've read the rest of the stories, wait for those reviews, please, to comment. And please, no spoilers down there in the doobly-doo while you, while you guys are telling me whether or not you liked this story. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another Stephen King review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!